Uh, let's look at example 8.7. Um, and we'll do this pretty much the same way we did uh, the um, same kind of question for uh, radius. We have magnesium, sulfur, and silicon. And we want to arrange them in the order of increasing I1. So we want to start with the smallest one, end with the largest one. And we have magnesium going across to silicon, going on across to sulfur. The ionization energy generally increases um, in, in the direction from left to right, as we just said, although there could be some discontinuity in it. Uh, and um, it um, increases from the bottom to the top, which doesn't apply here. So we can see in this case um, the lowest ionization energy on this period should be magnesium, uh, and then silicon, then sulfur should have the highest ionization energy. Questions on that one? And the next one is nitrogen, phosphorus, and arsenic. And they are arranged, they are taken from one column, column uh, one, one group in the periodic table. Uh, and the trend is increasing in that uh, upwards direction, as we saw before. So arsenic will have the lowest, then phosphorus, then nitrogen. OK, questions on that one? OK, then uh, let's look at arsenic, germanium, and phosphorus. And phosphorus. If we look at the periodic table, we'll see that germanium is to the left of um, arsenic. And arsenic is below phosphorus. And silicon is over here. It's not in the game. Um, so we have the trends increasing from left to right and increasing from bottom to top. So as, as we would look at this, germanium would be less, would have a smaller ionization energy one than arsenic. And arsenic would be less than phosphorus. So it should be GE is less than AS, is less than phosphorus. 